Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Great Hair Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back and share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video on what happened last night at the Oscars. And let me tell you, I go to bed early. The Oscars for me comes on really late and I go to bed early. And the reason why I go to bed early is because every single day, Monday through Friday, I wake up at 4.30 in the morning so I can make a 5.15 a.m. class at my gym. Okay, so listen, I got to keep my body together. I'm over here trying, drinking my water, exercising. So my son came into my room last night and I was already full blown knocked out. And he's like, mom, mom, wake up. I'm like, what happened? You okay? He's like, Will Smith hit Chris Rock at the Oscars. I said, boy, get out of here. That was a skit. That was a joke. And I didn't even, I wasn't even watching it. But in my mind, like to hear something like that, I'm like, that has got to be a joke. It was probably a skit. He's like, no, mom, it was real. And I was like, okay, I could barely open her eye. So I was like, all right, okay, I'll look at it later. So when I woke up this morning to the explosion of videos and commentary and everything on this subject, I was like, oh my God. And then when I saw the footage, I was like, wow, this is actually real. Real Smith really did put hands on Chris Rock. Now, guys, I am never, and when I'm telling you like never in agreement with someone putting their hands on someone else, right? And now it's you're defending yourself and that person touched you first, then fine. And you know, when I was growing up, there was this saying that um, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words can never hurt me. And we have grown to know that that is so far from the truth that, um, you know, because words do hurt people, words penetrate. And some people will say that words penetrate just as deep as someone putting their hands on you or even worse, because words seem to stay with you forever versus, you know, when someone maybe put their hands on you, um, maybe you get a bruise and you get over it somewhat. And I'm not talking about if you're in an abusive relationship, but you understand what I'm trying to say. So, um, um, Will, you know, at first when I watched the footage, he seemed to like kind of have like this nervous laugh when Chris Rock said it. But I think when he looked at Jada, because Jada and when I looked at it, maybe I have to look at it again. She didn't seem like she smirked after he made that joke. She wasn't laughing. She didn't find it funny. So I, I would say it's well known, but maybe someone has been under a rock. But I want to say it's well known that Jada is suffering from some type of condition, alopecia, I don't know what version, right, where her hair just was falling out and not growing. So the way she dealt with it, a lot of people in that situation do. She just shaved the head ball and said, you know what? It is what it is. So when Chris Rock made this reference to G.I. Jane, if you ever, if you're a fan of Demi Moore's and you ever watch G.I. Jane, actually, I actually love that movie, G.I. Jane. So Chris Rock thought it would be funny because, you know, there was some similarities of the character that Demi Moore played in G.I. Jane and the way um, Jada looks now with her head shaved. So he thought it would be funny to make a joke about the situation and said to Jada, you know, pretty much, um, I think it, you know, I can't wait to see G.I. Jane too. So Will didn't think it was funny, but I think he also didn't think it was funny and he felt like, you know, he needed to defend his wife is because I want to say earlier from everything I was reading, um, Regina Hall made a joke about Jada. Okay. So it's like after a while, enough is enough. Jada and Will is not the only couple in Hollywood or the world that has been in an entanglement, a situation that has infidelity in the marriage. But for whatever reason, it seems as if this couple, everybody, every single moment wants to keep joking about their situation. And people may say, well, they put it out there. Well, there's other, like, you know, when someone has a situation, if people don't address it, we got an issue with it. If they do address it, we got an issue with it. It's like people can't catch a break. And they are a couple, but not only that, they're a, a public figure couple, but they're still human. So it's like, all right, this situation happened. When are we going to let it go? 
when are y'all gonna move on and perhaps tell some other joke now again i'm not saying that this is the way that will should have handled that situation because you should never put your hands on someone but on the flip side i get it it's like enough is enough shut your mouth find something else to joke about and especially because that joke was extremely rude because my wife has a situation as to why she shaved her head off so you shouldn't be joking about anybody's medical condition so when chris rock said his joke i think everyone was in shock because will smith calmly got up out of his seat went clocked them you know people some are calling it a slap some are saying he punched him in the face Either way, Will Smith put his hands on Chris Rock, and then he just turned around and walked back to his seat and sat down. Now, the words that Will Smith said after the smackdown, the open-handed slap, um, the punch or whatever actually it was, he said, listen, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Now, he used some profanity, and I'm not going to repeat that here because I'm sure all of you seen the video. I think what will smith said after he did the open handed slap or whatever that's what he just should have said before so he should have used his words okay so as adults the way that we handle um disputes or we handle our anger or we handle a situation with somebody is our first option should always be to use our words and will smith should have used those words instead of going up getting um um, you know, going up to the stage and, and, and slapping um, Chris Rock. Now, people want to say, and, and I, I got to do a comparison here because we got to talk about this, right? People want to call Kanye West a little off and a little crazy, right? When Kanye West simply went up in that award show and grabbed the mic and said, tell us Swift sit and win, you know, they said, he's cuckoo, he's crazy. Right now with Kanye West's situation going on with Kim Kardashian, you know, he's using his words. I'm not saying this right, okay, but he's using his words. He's not touching anybody. And people want to lay all of this stuff on the potential of what Kanye West could possibly do but he's not doing and here you have quiet will smith who just walked up to the stage slapped chris rock and sat back down now others are saying also that finally we have a brother um protecting his wife protecting a brown girl now i want to be i believe this quote came or you know i don't i'm not quoting it directly Malcolm X said a long time ago, the most disrespected person in the world is a black female. And unfortunately, we have seen that be true in many occasions. So a lot of people are praising Will Smith saying, you know what? Finally, we seen a, blood, a brother take up for a brown girl. And I get that side of the coin also. So how do I want to wrap this up and what do I want to say? I think Chris Rock was wrong, even though he is a comedian. And I think as a comedian, there are some lines you just should not cross, right? And it used to be a long time ago that comedians had... Um, an open forum where nobody was saved from their jokes. They can talk about any race. They could talk about any situation because they, they chalked it up all to, it's just a joke, people. But with this culture that we have currently moved into, we have learned that jokes are not just jokes. Um, you know, the cancel culture is real. And out of respect, you should watch what you say and, and and say jokes that really make people laugh and not hurtful to a person. So this joke that he made, it was hurtful to Will and his wife. And one may say, well, how would he know that would be hurtful? Well, if someone has a condition, if maybe I have cancer, you know, maybe people are not looking at this the same because they feel like her condition is, is not, you know, life threatening, but it still matters. So if I had cancer and I'm at the award show and maybe I've lost my hair and I lost weight because of that, are you going to make a joke about that? And will that joke be okay? So we have to look at this thing from all different angles and I'm going to wrap it up this way. One, I don't believe in violence, right? Two, 
it was Will Smith wrong for going up there and slapping Chris Rock? Absolutely. Three, do I understand why he did it wholeheartedly? So no matter what happened between him and Jada, that is still his wife. He is still supposed to serve and protect his wife. So when he looked out the corner of his eye and he saw that his wife was not good with this joke, then he wasn't good with it either. And listen, every man I ever been with in my life, when we was together in a relationship, if I wasn't good, he wasn't good. If I had a problem with it, he had a problem with it. We was thick as these. So I could care less what happened and how they want to deal and handle their relationship when they go home and they're behind closed doors. But in uh, and for Will Smith, that is still his wife and that is still Jada's husband. And when Jada wasn't good with the joke, Will wasn't good with the joke either, and he went up there, and he let his emotions get the best of him, and he gave Chris Rock an open-handed slap. Now, will Chris Rock, did he learn his lesson? Will he change the way that he does his jokes and the jokes that he writes? Jokes should be funny. Jokes should not be hurtful to any group, any race, uh, 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 anybody. You should be able to, if you're a real comedian, Tell a joke where everybody can laugh and nobody at the end of the day feels hurt behind your joke. So guys, thanks for watching. Chat with me in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. What side of the coin are you on in this situation? I think we all can say Will Smith was wrong, but we also can say we understand why Will Smith felt like he had to put an end to it. I bet you from this moment on, people will stop the jokes about Will and Jada, or at the very least, they won't say it to their face. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next video. And unfortunately, the first thing I thought of, guys, when this happened is the LL Cool J song, Mama Said Knock You Out. Talk to you later, guys. See you on the next video.